Uh, first of all, uh, you know, our alumni game uh, before that, uh, before we played seven on seven, got a chance to watch a little bit of that. I think it was real successful. I think the guys had a good time. Really appreciate them being a part of that. Um, you know, as far as the game goes, you know, uh, probably the positive was, uh, you know, I think all four quarterbacks made some explosive plays. Um, you know, I thought that was good. I had a couple touchdowns uh, to go with it, but uh, overall, uh, that was practice 15. I feel really good about you know, what we accomplished during that time. Um, you know, we went into this game with a plan for the quarterbacks to play uh, like it was, and I said all of them did some good things. What we'll do next week is we'll be able to assess the whole 15 uh, days of practice as a whole, and uh, we'll look at it from there. And like I said, hopefully we'll get some kind of order with our quarterbacks. You know, after spring, but overall, I thought uh, defense had a very good spring. I thought the offense too. You know, we talked about trying to get some depth and get some of those younger guys uh, to step up, and really feel like uh, we accomplished uh, you know those goals. Questions? In the first half, looked like it was pretty crisp execution. Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I don't think uh, you know as far as protecting the football and, and all that. It got a little sloppy in the second half, and we let a lot of people play. But you know, overall, I thought there was. Some good things really on both sides of the football. How much has Bo improved from day one to day 15? Uh, he's improved a lot, but that's to be expected. You know, he's a true freshman and still should be in high school. And you know, the college game's different, and of course, the speed's different, and our defense is different. So, you know, it's been good for him, uh, you know, to get used to everything that goes with it. Do you, think, do you think Joey looked a whole lot more confident out there uh, than what we saw kind of from him last season? Oh, yeah. You, you know, and, and like I told you, I guess, you know, last week, he's, he's a different quarterback than he was at this time last year. Um, he does have more confidence. Um, you know, he uh, really has, has been focused and, and really desperate to win the job. And so he's had a, a very good spring. Um, and like I said, today he made some, some explosive plays. And, you know, when you let him go live, you know, that it's a little bit different too. We, what we saw from uh, Hill and Williams today, have you been seeing that all spring, and how much has that helped those two quarters? Yeah, yeah, Williams, it was really good for him to see him make some plays. Um, and then Hill is a guy that man, we had high expectations for when we, we recruited him. And, you know, and so that was real good to see him make some plays in front of the crowd. He has had a, a very solid uh, spring. He's a guy that has a chance to make big plays. It was a great catch he made over his shoulder uh, on that first one. And then, of course, we do a little tunnel to the field. On the last one, you see he has a little bit uh, of acceleration. Uh, he's got a chance to, to be a really good player for us, we feel like. Well, what's it give an offense for, to have a guy that you can throw it up to in traffic like Seth? Yeah, well, that, that's especially this league, you have to because you're going to get some one-on-one -on -one opportunities. A lot of times they're going to roll an extra safety down, and you got to win. you got to have somebody that can win you know, on the outside. And so you know, it's good to see Seth make some of those plays. Gus, you said you're going to evaluate quarterbacks mm -hmm. next week, but yeah. the fact that Joey and Bo were both with the first team guys in the Orange team, that says something, doesn't it? Yeah, and, you know, it, it was just, uh, you know, Coach Dillingham every day, you know, he has, a, has an order. They, they're competing every day. There's been different orders every day. It just happened to be that coming into this game. And, uh, but like I said, we got a lot of good information from 14, or excuse me, 15 practices now, uh, three scrimmages. So it was really good, and you know, we'll, we'll assess everything. We'll have a good week this, this coming up week to assess all positions and really uh, step back and kind of get a good plan uh, about you know, offensively you know, who we're going to be next year. We saw Chandler get up slow and leave in the second quarter. Yeah. Any update? Yeah, I don't have an update. Um, you know, I think yeah, obviously it was a knee injury. Uh, I don't have an update, so hopefully that will be okay. What we saw from Joyner today, I mean, carrying the ball a little bit, yeah. catching the ball a little bit, is he going to be that guy in the football? Yeah, you know, he's versatile. We've talked about that. Um, you know, he's he's like a receiver, but also when you give him the ball, you see he has acceleration. He's got burst. He's a really big guy, too. So he's a guy that we really we feel like we can move around uh, next year and try to get some matchups that we like. But I really like his versatility. Um, been very impressed with his toughness. I mean, he, he's really had a good physical uh, spring. Uh, the fact that he's kind of playing two positions, being young, I think that says a lot about him too. So it was good to see him. He protected the football when he carried it. How does DJ, you know, fit into things, yeah. especially with the way he ran it against yeah, our first yeah, team DJ's defense? had a very good spring. Um, and, of course, you know, that one run he made had the wow factor. He broke a couple good tackles against good tacklers and had some acceleration and almost, you know, spun, spun it out of there. So it was, uh, he's, he's a really good runner, and uh, he showed a lot of toughness for a true freshman, and 
that it was good to see him out there make plays today. Gus, on the quarterbacks, would you prefer to have at least two still in the run for that first team job going into the summer and going into the next you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where that's at. I mean, I think the positive is I think we've got some good options. I mean, mm -hmm. I think we got uh, quite a few of them that we feel like uh, you know, can move the offense. And, and they're all a little bit different, too, and I think that's always good, too. But not ready to say right now anything other than, you know, we got good information, and next week we'll assess everything to kind of see where we're at. And like I told you, I was, we want some kind of order after spring. And I think that uh, I think we'll be able to get to that that point. Were you pleased with the way Bo moved around? I mean, he had a few runs, but also kind of moving around in the pocket. That yeah, I think, touchdown. Yeah, on the I think so. You know, in our league, I mean, it's not seven on seven. I mean, you drop back, you're going to have to create, you're going to have to extend plays, and you know, he's done a solid job of that. And really, the other three have too. They all can run. I mean, all, all four of those guys can run. So. I think that's important too because, like I said, in our league things break down, and you know you got to extend plays, and really when you extend plays, you got to protect the football. Overall, does it just feel like the offense is flowing at a better pace than what you want compared to what it was last season? Because it didn't seem like you had any herky jerky moments out there. A lot of yeah, you know, last year was a little bit different when because Stidham, you know, didn't get to participate, and so it was a little bit different. We had a young offensive line. Um, you know, this year our, our offensive line I think is going to be one of our strengths on offense, and uh, it allows you to do some more things. It's really good for young quarterbacks, and uh, but you know we were pretty simple out there today, but that was by design, and that was not only because everybody you know watches games, but really it was probably more because our young quarterbacks. We wanted to make sure that they were comfortable, they could play fast, they didn't have to think, and they they could just show what they could do. So that was kind of you know part of the plan too. At least from the first scrimmage to the second to the third, anything sort of stand out to you about how you I, I think our I think our younger guys are more comfortable. I mean, they should be, but um, they're just more comfortable type player and um, really worked hard on on the intermediate routes and the deep routes. And you know, when he gets the ball in his hands, you know, he can really do some things. So very excited to have him back. And of course, you know, Will Hastings too. You know, he got cleared, I guess today. I mean, obviously we didn't play him, but that's good for the summer. Everything that goes with that. We heard Owen Papo's name a lot to, uh, yeah. today. Just, what are your thoughts on how he's progressed this spring and, and really that whole group of them? Yeah, he's came on and uh, you know he doesn't act like a freshman. The moment's not too big for him. He can really run. He's got really good instincts, and I think he had a really good spring, you know, especially for a, for a freshman. Do you want to be able to sit down to your quarterbacks and go, you're one, two, three, four? I, you know, I, I'm not ready to even say that, but I, I do want some kind of order, some kind of plan going into summer. I mean, because it's not real to have four quarterbacks and rotate equally. You just can't get to that point. But, you know, like I said, we're, we're still committed to having some type of order so we can get into the summer and they can start working uh, with specific guys and all that. With the linebackers, how happy have you been with the progress, especially because y'all have lost a lot of production mm -hmm. from last year? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it feels like uh, guys have just stepped in and uh, they really hadn't missed a beat. I mean, I think overall they've had a very good uh, spring. I think KJ Britt's leading that group, uh, really taking over for Deshaun Davis. And, uh, you know, it's his moment. He's been waiting on this moment. And he is some kind of physical. And, uh, He's, he's really leading that group. When you see Joey out there throwing the ball around like mm -hmm. you did today, are you, are you kind of proud of, of how far he's come in a year? Yeah, yeah. Of course, when we recruited him, we, we really felt like he was talented. Right. Um, you know, last year, you know, of course, he was a true freshman. His head was spinning. And we asked a lot of him because Stidham wasn't there, so he got a lot of reps. And, um, you know, he was with our twos, too. He didn't get a really a chance to show what he could do with the ones. But, um, you know, he's got a really live arm, uh, you know, He's real desperate doing the job, like I said earlier. And uh, I said, when you let him go live, um, you know, there's there's a big difference. Forty thousand here today. What is yeah. That? Oh, that's that's very appreciative of, of the Auburn fans, and uh, that's really big, especially you know back-to-back -back weekends with Final Four and regional finals and all that. So it says a lot. You know, our players really appreciate that. Our coaches do too. And the weather was good. And uh, you know, overall, I think it was a very successful day. Gus, this off season was sort of the first with the transfer portal for college yeah. football. Um, just what's your opinion on that process, and have coaches had to make any kind of adjustments with, because of it? I think all coaches have to make adjustments. It's a new day in college football, and uh, you know, so I think uh, you know this first year was a learning experience, probably for all the coaches around the country, and you know, it's probably not going away. And uh, so, yeah, you've got to make. Else? 
Thank you. Thank you.